Hello guys, this is Dr. Bass from the Endless Fair From, and today I will play a little bit with the uh, Adapto uh, shunt current measurement. So um, I had some um, uh, questioning about uh, the way it measured the current. I know it's a shunt, but uh, I had the various um, current uh, setting, maximum current setting in the uh, uh, power profile, and I wanted to know uh, why some controller have higher current than uh, other in the maximum current uh, battery current setting. So here is the experiment that I did. Sorry, I have two hands. Okay. So this is a zero to one of the amp power supply. This is an open ended up uh, uh, 14 kilowatt uh, adapter. This is the new version and the uh, display current meter. And I will explain the um, installation. So on the controller you have uh, usually I will use this one. Okay. So you have these two wires here. These are the uh, male connection, the uh, uh, XT150 uh, bullet connector. So this is the battery and this one is for charging. What is nice is that it's um, uh, this connector here can be used to um, uh, have uh, direct access to the shunt. Which means the two negatives here are connected on each side of the shunt. This one goes for the charging and it's on the other side of the shunt. I will explain. So on the adapter we have here, this is the uh, negative uh, bus that distributes the current along all these uh, MOSFET here. And the way it works is that you have the uh, negative from the battery that connect right here. Where is my finger here? Okay. And the shunt is a part of the bus that has been a little bit uh, made uh, thinner than the bus here. So the shunt is this part here, all made of copper here, you see, of the width. And it continue right here. And here, this is the point where the shunt stop. And then it continue conducting for the rest of the bus. Which means that the current is measured between this connector here and the other on the back here which is the negative entry from the ba from the battery the charge coil negative connect right here this is the way the uh, controller read the current from the charge coil it use current measurement between the negative from the battery and negative from the uh, charge coil so the voltage loss that is produced uh, between this section and this section here so the, this is a kind of a resistor here, a shunt, okay? And the voltage loss is measured by the controller to uh, uh, calculate the current that is going through this bus here, okay? So this is the battery current. Um, you can see here, the shunt here is a little bit less wide than here. Here I will say about uh, three millimeter and here about five to six millimeter. The cross sectional of this area here is about the, the equivalent of a 10 gauge wire. Okay, I'll distribute here for the negative of all the MOSFET. So the controller here will uh, measure, I, I measured at one of the damp that I uh, connect between here and here, which mean I connect between both negative. This is the uh, negative for the uh, uh, charge coil and this is the negative for the battery so I just connect this battery which is a 40 volt just a battery to power it up okay so I connect to the normal uh, connection I will remove that to show you so this is a positive from the battery to the positive input of the, uh, of the uh, controller and the negative here negative goes here this is just a y connection for the sb50 so this is negative negative and negative all the same so negative from the battery that is powering the uh, controller goes here and here so this one is the uh, negative battery input okay so what i do what i do is i uh, push current with another source which is this great power supply here through this big wire here you see and here 
goes here and I push 0 to 1 of the damp between um, this connection here and this connection here you see between both negative so I push 100 amp current between each leg of the shunt and this allow me to see on the screen if the current reading is accurate and I can go in the calibration to see that so I will show you something really interesting about the shunt calibration and the uh, stability I will just push here to have okay you see the display you see in the boost mode which will be normally 140 amp on the uh, 10 kilowatt model and I'm not sure about the 114 but normally it should be about um, uh, 160 170 amp uh, from our calculation so what I discovered is when I got this display here the boost current was set to 188 amp which is probably uh, the factory uh, last uh, setting that they uh, use for um, testing this this controller and 188 amp is really nice but the problem is that when I tried to lower it a little bit it lowered but then I tried to go back to the 188 it's it doesn't want it was it, it just wanted to go lower <laughs> okay so well it's one time you get 188 and then it's uh, not even possible and I tried to reset it and it doesn't work so what I discovered is that the shunt value that you will set in the calibration I will see I will show you the calibration here okay controller and uh, you will see calibration damn it okay calibration calibration the shunt here is 0 0.395 million okay so 0 0.395 million and if I change that value it will directly change the maximum current I can set in the battery and you see uh, on the last screen I had and the power profile the maximum current I have now because I just decrease it a little bit from 188 and it's now 120 and this is the maximum value I can set I cannot go higher and if I go in the setting and change the uh, calibration of the shunt for a higher resistance value it will lower this value here okay so uh, I have to ask about that um, so uh, what I discovered also is the stability of the shunt. I will explain. So now I will go in the display. Doesn't say anything. All right. So you see I have 40 volt and zero amp. I will rise the current a little bit with the power supply. And also I will connect this really accurate and calibrated clamp meter. This is a Fluke 337, which is my uh, own reference. It's really uh, accurate. So I will uh, zero it just before, you see, zero, oh it's on the hold mode, sorry, I will just reset it, alright, zero, alright, so there is zero amp, and I will put it this way, so I will measure the current that goes into the controller, so I will raise the current a little bit to 50 amp. So I will carry 50 amp through the shunt connection. Okay, there's 50 amp, and you see I have 50.2. I can just readjust it a little bit to get 50. All right, 50 amp. What's the reading here? 51.8. Okay, and it's rising a little bit because the shunt is getting hot. Not hot, but warm. Okay, here. Because it's a resistance and I have current carrying through them through it so uh, it's getting hot a little bit well not really hot at 50 amp but I will rise it at 100 amp and see what happened 100 ready 100 and I read 106 107 I will leave it as is and you will see it rise 108 it's about 20 seconds now 109 this is because the shunt here 
the temperature is rising a little bit. I can touch it. It's not. Uh, I'm not burning my finger. It's barely warm, about uh, 40 to 50 degrees Celsius, maybe now 60. And you see, 110, which means that the shunt at high current will heat up, and his value of resistance increase, which means that it will read higher uh, millivolt value across the two wires here and it, it will compute that this data and it will uh, read higher current but this is not the real current you see the real current is the current that my power supply is sending it's still 100 amp but you see here 113 114 this is really high current uh, not high current but high error of current okay connection the 10 gauge wire are barely warm, so it, it's okay for one of the damp. Here, I can touch the shunt here. It's not burning my finger, but it's it's hot to touch. 115. So it means that it's about 115 amp, so it's 15 amp higher, about 15% error. So the controller will read higher, which means that if you carry one of the damp and the controller will read higher, it means that it will protect sooner. If it goes, uh, I if I leave it as is and wait until it reads 120, it will read the maximum current limit that is uh, preset in uh, in the preset, which means that I will carry one of the damp, and it will read 120, and it will limit to that value. So it will see higher current than actual so it it it's like it will protect himself <laughs> okay but it will just uh, let me have lower power okay so uh, my understanding is that um, this shunt actually read um, at lower temperature if I, I will just uh, decrease the value a little bit here okay I will carry let's say 10 amp 10 okay you see 10.9 it's calling down okay so if I change the value uh, in the setting the maximum current that was 120 in the profile will rise a little bit okay but now what I have to do to get the right current because this is supposed to be at least 140 amp so is beefing the shunt which means adding some copper mass here to lower the resistance of that shunt until the, the, the resistance value that I will uh, measure here will be corresponding to the exact resistance value here and make the controller to um, uh, go up to 140 which means that these controller when you receive them uh, have different uh, shunt value okay uh, depend on the quantity of solder that you have here and uh, what it make is that uh, the calibration of the shunt might not be really accurate but even if you recalibrate it here um, it will not get you the uh, maximum current okay if you want to have the maximum current on some controller you might have to modify this shunt as well if you modify it you will change a warranty and uh, it will affect that and it will be uh, maybe void the warranty okay so I have to um, uh, specify that so um, well uh, if you add some solder here, it will lower the resistance of the shunt, you will set the right resistance here, and it will read the right current when you push uh, uh, the right current through the battery input. Okay? So, um, thanks for watching, and um, I have something else also to check, because the maximum current, this is a 14 kilowatt, which means that the maximum value in the firmware should be probably more I will say uh, 170 amp but I'm limited to 120 actually <laughs> so it's not allowing full power so um, I hope you enjoy thanks for watching this is Dr. Bayes from the Endless Fair From bye bye